Hey there, I'm Dan, the self-proclaimed Lonely Rocker from the YouTube channel Lonely Rocker, here for Icon Pro Audio to help you maximize your Icon gear. Today I'm going to be talking about recording guitars. Now there's so many different ways to record guitars these days, and we all have different requirements. But there's one thing that's common to many guitar players, is we like to feel our effects while recording, but we don't want to necessarily print those effects but sometimes we do want to print those effects. It just depends on the project that we're working on and perhaps we're just demoing or working out some parts. But what if you could set it up so you can record once, print your effects on one track, and have a clean version of that same guitar on another one. Best of both worlds and you're mix ready. Well, we absolutely can achieve that with our Icon Pro Audio Interface and Pro Driver 4. Well, today I'm gonna to demonstrate that with this Duo 44 Live and Pro Driver 4. Wanna know how that works? Well, stick around to find out. What I'm going to demonstrate here is recording a tube amp direct, bypassing the speakers and handling the speaker simulation within ProDriver and directly in the DAW with Cab IR plugins. You can use this technique a number of different ways, whether you're miking a cab or even recording with amp sim plugins. The idea is we can record two tracks with completely different signal chains with one take. On track one, I want to record the raw amp tone so I can add Cab IRs and processing later in the mix. On track 2, I want to process it with a cab IR and some reverb, so I have a good reference to listen to. Here's how to set this up. To start, I'll assume your interface is connected to your system and ProDriver 4 is installed. In your DAW, you'll want to select ProDriver Duo 44 Live as your interface and not the Duo 44 Live option. This will allow you to source the virtual channels supplied by ProDriver and not the signal directly from the interface. This is necessary if you want to record the signal chain you will be building in ProDriver 4. On the Duo 44 itself, turn the monitor dial all the way to minimum because you don't want to hear the signal coming through the interface. You only want to monitor the process signal from ProDriver. In my example here, I then connected the DI out from my amp to input 1 on the interface. Now let's fire up ProDriver 4. Select your interface and launch the application. You're greeted by the mixer. Along the left side, you have your physical and virtual input sources. Along the bottom, you have your mixer. And the grid in between is your virtual patch panel that allows you to route your different sources. In this example, we're going to bypass the patch panel completely and use the advanced patching capabilities of ProDriver 4. So deselect any active patches. Check the input to ensure you're getting a good level from your guitar. Next, you need to route the audio and build a custom plugin chain. To do that, navigate to the top right of the mixer window and select Rack. Start a new session and save it. ProDriver 4 can access all of the plugins you already have installed on in your system. If you haven't assigned them to ProDriver yet, go to View and then Plugin Manager. From here, you can scan all of the different plugins in your system. Once done, you will see them all listed here. Now go back to Presets, click Edit and New Preset. Click here to give your preset a name, and then click here to build your preset. This is your audio interface. These are the inputs, and these are the outputs. You can make a patch simply by drawing a line from one source to another. This layout will vary depending on what interface you have connected to your system. For the Duo 44 Live, the first four are the physical ins and outs on the interface, and five to 10 are the virtual sources. What we need to do now is split a single input source and route it to two different channels. This is really easy to do in ProDriver 4. To achieve this, we will route the signal to the first two virtual channels in ProDriver and then assign these as our inputs in our DAW. For channel one, I want the raw amp tone to pass through and get recorded unaffected, so I simply patch from input one to output five. This patches the physical input of the interface and routes the signal to output five. To record this channel, we need to select input 5 on our DAW. Now let's build our plugin chain for the affected signal we want to record. To do that, simply right click to bring up your plugins list. 
I'm going to load a cab IR loader and a reverb, but you can load any plugins you want to use. To complete the signal chain, we will again grab a patch from input 1 and route it through the ins and outs of each plugin, and then route the last plugin in the chain to output 6. To record this channel, we need to select input 6 in our DAW. To adjust the settings of each plugin, simply double click on the corresponding node and dial in your effect as you normally would. You can adjust your recording levels with the mixer. Once all is set, you're good to start recording. Let's review what I recorded. Listening back to track 1, we can hear the raw, unaffected amp tone. And on track 2, we can hear the fully processed signal. Mission accomplished. You can save your sessions in ProDriver 4 and recall them before each recording session. Once set, all you have to do is select the correct inputs in your DAW and you're ready to roll. Well, I hope you found that tip helpful. It's a real flexible way of recording your guitars. You know, once it's set up, you do it once, you've got all of the bases covered. Now, if you want any more information, there will be links in the description below, and certainly in the comment section, we're always happy to hear from you. I am Dan the Lonely Rocker, here for Icon Pro Audio. Hope to see you again soon.